Hey guys, so I'm recording at night and my sister is still asleep. So I'm gonna show you how I wake her up. Looks like she's not gonna wake up. Hey guys, so now it's actually 11, so she wouldn't wake up at 9, so I'm gonna wake her up wake at up. 11. Wake up! Wake up! Hello, sis, wake up! So eventually he gives up and I eventually wake up and then spend about half an hour on my phone. Hi, so it's about 12 p.m. So I'm gonna go make lunch for um, me and my brother now. But first, of course, I do the usual washing up and skincare. Let me know if you want a skincare routine anytime soon. So because of my non-existent sleeping schedule, uh, I don't usually eat breakfast and I just usually sip on a Milo while after I wake up and then make lunch. We interrupt this program with On today's episode, how to shepherd's pie. Here's what you'll need. I start off by chopping about 5 russet potatoes. Then I'm just chopping about half an onion into small bits and 3 cloves of garlic. Potato masher. Until it's all soft and smooth and creamy. Now we just finished lunch, so we're gonna be making some guacamole! So we decided that we were gonna go tan outside, but it isn't looking too great. See, it's looking a bit dark, so we might just sit here for a while and eat our chips and a guacamole um, and we're gonna do some reading and then yeah hopefully it doesn't rain we ran out of tortilla chips so in case you're wondering what we're reading i'm reading wonder and she's reading the talented mr ripley let me know if you want a book review of some sort so I just got my ice water with a metal straw in true white girl fashion. And I'm just gonna tap for a while and read my book. So there started to be a thunderstorm, so we scrapped the idea of tanning. I took some like shots for like my makeup video which you can watch down below. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna read indoors for a while before we go exercise. I don't know why I breathe so much or heavily and I look like I'm hyperventilating but yes, enjoy this time lapse of my educated reading self. Okay, since it's raining, we're gonna do an indoor workout today. So let's cue the workout! was a very tough workout. Chloe thing really be killing me. 
So I'm gonna cool down with my ice water, go hop in the shower, and then I will catch you guys again. Remember to stay hydrated, guys. It's very important to stay hydrated during this period. Yay! I'm gonna cut my fringe. You no, know, I've been seeing everyone in quarantine trying to like cut their own bangs and stuff, but Oh, I'm the one who's OG with the bangs. But I really gotta go get them cut at the salon like properly soon. Cause I've been just screwing them up. My hair is also so black now, look. But I've actually been very impressed with how people can like cut their bangs so well. I've been trying to cut my own bangs for like the past few years of my life and I still can't get it straight or right. Like the jackpot. Some days it works out well, some days it works out not so well. Okay, I'm kind of okay with this length. So now we're just gonna bathe and wash my hair and see how it goes. So after dinner, I just had Bible study until about 9.30. So Art, what do you have to say to everyone who's currently in quarantine? Stay safe and please don't catch the coronavirus. Good night everybody! Hi. Hello, it has been a hot minute since I have a last vlog or caught up with you about my day. So um, basically, we were we wanted to play like this water gun fight thing that um, Art was really looking forward to playing, but then it started storming. So I mean, the less ideal side of days. So I I had to like deal with the tantrum, and then here's a bonus clip of us actually having water fun on another day. But I just thought it was quite cute, so we included. that I had a quick dinner before I had to go for Bible study, which is always such a like refreshing experience honestly. Like and not maybe it's just something about the whole quarantine thing that has just made me a bit of a recluse. Like not talking to people or like, you know, living in your own little bubble and stuff is sometimes I guess easier to do that. Yeah, since I'm in a reflective mood I thought I might as well vlog this. I'm gonna tuck my brother to bed and we'll see what we'll do after that. Night, night. And then that'll be the end of the day for him. So then I just FaceTime Darren for a while. Hi everybody. <laughs> so after that jam session, I just updated my calendar and edited some videos. So I'm writing a birthday thing um, to my friend. And I don't know, I guess like writing birthday things always makes me feel kind of sappy. Yes, but okay, I have like 15 minutes to pull this together. Now it's 11.45. Yes, I will pull this together. Okay. Oh, Frank. Your favourite you. birthday outfit. So we just caught up and watched about, I don't know, 5 episodes of Jane the Virgin till it was about 4am. I guess, I just wanted to do like a little reflection of maybe my whole like quarantine experience how this has all been for me and you know we always give ourselves so much excuses in like everyday life that we're busy we, we have something important that's coming up so i can't catch up with this person or, you know um i can't text this person because i'm too busy i'm sorry and stuff if i have more time of course i would do that and i know it's funny you know like now everything's kind of come to a pause for us in the world and I've suddenly lost all those reasons of excuses but at the same time I'm giving myself so many excuses because I can't meet this person, I can't go out with this person or whatever that you know it's okay not to meet these people or just live in my bubble and forget everything that's happening in the world and I mean on one hand it is kind of fun that I get to like hang out more with my family or my brother and stuff. I don't know. I kind of hope everything goes back to normal soon but at the same time I guess we have to kind of like enjoy this time period we have and we're never really gonna get a time like this to kind of hang out or I don't know. I guess I want to challenge myself also to Skype people more or like you know make an effort to talk to people more and whatever. But just know that if you're feeling like that you're not alone and I hope I'm not the only weirdo who's feeling like that. Stay safe, healthy, see you soon. End of vlog.